stepping outside and going into evacuation centers to find out what had happened to children. It was quite heartbreaking because they didn't have any food or water. Many had told us that uh, they hadn't had anything to eat in 24 hours. Uh, there were dead bodies being uh, carried outside and children and their families returning home trying to see if there was anything left to salvage. Uh, obviously, there was very little for them uh, to find. Sanitation conditions are, uh, are terrible. Uh, medical supplies is another key, key one to note. Uh, we went to a hospital on Sunday morning, uh, so 48 hours after the storm, and there was a big sign outside that said, no medical, uh, no admission, no medical supplies. As soon as we got word about the typhoon, we made an immediate allocation of funds from our children's emergency fund so our office in the Philippines could begin logistics and commence its response. We pre-positioned supplies in countries that are disaster prone, just like the Philippines, and here we had available household kits and newborn kits which could be distributed immediately. We continue to make these distributions, adding hygiene kits and shelter kits, which are critical to the people who've been impacted by the disaster. Together with our global health partner, Merland, we've established mobile health clinics, and we are also supporting local hospitals with personnel and supplies. Save the Children also distributes high-energy biscuits to prevent malnutrition. Save the Children has established child-friendly spaces to provide supervised places within evacuation centers. These spaces are staffed by individuals who are screened and trained to take care of children and provide them with safe places to play and needed emotional support. We also are establishing temporary learning spaces so children can resume their education. To enable this, we distribute back-to-school kits and teaching supplies. Save the Children has been in the Philippines since 1981. We have staff on the ground responding in numerous locations. Our immediate focus is moving vital materials to survivors and protecting children from further harm. Save the Children is planning a long-term program to meet children's needs in health, nutrition, water, and sanitation, education and early childhood development, family food security and livelihoods, and child protection. We plan to reach 500,000 children and adults in the Philippines with our support. The needs in the Philippines are great and will continue for the foreseeable future. We urgently need your assistance to continue to provide care for children and their families and help them on the road to recovery.